Give me a countdown. One, two, three. All right. So, my buddy just brought over an elk or some some of the quarters of the elk. So I want to teach everybody how to do things correctly, uh, especially if you're bringing them into the, sh the a meat shop or you're bringing them into me. Like, take pride in what you're doing. Your cutting will off. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this over and over and over again. Take pride in your cutting. Pulling trigger is the easiest thing you can do but please take pride in your cutting. So I'm gonna show you guys one little thing. Like, so when you're in the field and you have a quarter or whatever it is, so this is how I wanna see it done all the time. I'm, I'm not lying, like you guys wanna be, step up your game, this is how you're gonna do it, all right? So from the knuckle, whether it's inside or out, is that you guys need to bring your knife and go straight across like this. Then come back and simply go across. Does that make sense? Now we're gonna turn over the, I always work from the inside out, so we're gonna turn the quarter over. So now we're gonna go inside and just skin it out. Now this is the same thing that goes immediately when you shoot it, this is what you should be doing. This is how, and I, anybody can argue with me, whatever it is, this is how it needs to be done. If you don't do it this way, it's negligent. And when I look at you, I'll be like, can you bring it in? I'll be like, this is, this is rookie status. So now I'm gonna turn it back over. Just because I'm showing you an example, of how we're doing it. Don't saw at it and bring it down because this is looks really immature. So I'm I'm preparing to fix this. Excuse me, it's kind of chilly out. It's not nose. Okay, so might have some fur on there, or whatnot, but. It makes it uh, uh, that much tougher when you're doing it. All right, so I want you to concentrate on seeing when you cut it from the knuckle, you do a straight cut all the way around, then you go inside most likely and then peel it off. When you guys are hacking at this shit, it really gets annoying when I look at it. All right, so now we're gonna bring our hind quarter down. I'm gonna... So let's back up a second. So then two, when we're taking it to the longhouse, chop the legs off too already. Or if you can do, I'll show you another way to get rid of that too. So cut it off, like for reals. People are so sloppy lately that it's like irritating me. Have respect for the animal that you kill. Have some pride in it. All right, so now, now when you're starting out on hind quarter, there's seams. So when you run it down, you're only gonna take your knife a little bit in there and follow your seam down. All the way down, and you're gonna peel it off. Don't go digging deep, sometimes I do that same thing. All right? You're gonna follow the seam all the way down and around. You keep going, and this is just the hind quarter I'm showing everybody. I'll show everybody else other stuff. It's elk season, and I need everybody to be on the same page. When you're killing something, take pride in it. God damn. All right, peel that off. So I'm gonna take this off, around. Then I'm gonna turn around, go right down not stabbing at anything, and run it down, okay? Straight down. Come back around, I'm trying to slow down. And then come back up, around the knuckle, and then down, okay? Flip it over, boom. I'm slowing this down for everybody, and then come back around.
Okay, that's how you separate. Uh, I have this like cleaning, trimming mechanism that I just want to like, fix everything. So we already have this chop, not chop, I always say chopped. So now we're going to pull it from this side, go up, and then this side. And we're going to flip it around. And bam. I'll get back to this part because this is normally, I want to say this is your pepperoni, your trim. So we're going to get back to that in a second. Now we're going to start picking it up. We're going to break it down. Hind quarters, there's your roast. More trim. Now, when you do this part, this part's always the part that has to sit in the dirt or the truck and it kind of gets, kind of gets, uh, I don't know how do you want to pronounce it, weathered or uh, gets firm, kind of. So you want to kind of get like flayed and get it out of there. But it's always that piece that, that does it. It's always the piece. So figure out what you want to do with that, whether you want to trim it or whatnot. To me, it normally just goes into the pepperoni pile. Go around. I'm gonna put this go right here from the edge of it. Regardless of how well you pack it out, it's always gonna be that trim that you gotta figure out what you wanna do with. So pepperoni or whatever. So now when you're you broke that down, you're gonna see a seam right here. So you're gonna go like this. Take your seam right there. Boom. Nice jerky cut. So if you're doing steaks, this will be your steaks. And then like that but in our case we're doing jerky so we cut it right down the middle boom the rest of the trim all right let's get back to our roast okay so your roast on your roast you're gonna have a part basically this is always the part that gets dragged or it's in the elements so you're gonna take this and this just get rid of it it's no it's it's really nothing that you're gonna want to use so put that over there take the top of it off and this is your roast okay I mean not this but this is I still can make jerky out of this but you can use it for burger or pepperoni or whatever and then you're gonna slowly trim that off too so here is your roast now one thing is too is that if you guys are trying to learn how to make steaks this is your round steaks so obviously we'll cut that off and then you're going to do like this but I'll, normally it will take a bigger knife and then start making my round steaks so that's how you can do though your round steaks but in this case we're making jerky so we're going to cut right down the middle bit like that okay and then we'll back those up then we come to the, the other part, and we just cut it out right here. Cut off our, our miscellaneous that we're gonna put into. Oh, there's my steak. My, we're gonna actually eat that tonight. So then you're gonna get the rest of this, trim off of there. Now, we're all doing jerky, so what I always do, we get rid of this first part. Now this is my prime cut, so I'll cut it right here. So when I'm making jerky, boom, boom, boom. So it's a delight. And then look at this part right here. Now once we, we'll go back to the we'll go back to the calf itself, and then you know I'll try to trim it up a little bit. Without cutting myself. And we'll run it right down and then we'll take it off right here. Uh, I'm trying to take it off right here. And then this is pepperoni steaks, totally pepperoni steaks or morning sausage. So then right through the calf, go up and then go 
move back. And yeah. that over there. Not too much. I mean, you can sabotage it all you want. It's still going to be pepperoni steaks or something else. I think you don't got to get too crazy serious with it. Maybe get whatever trim that you don't have off of it. I don't know. I don't get too crazy. But I think that's about it, really. Uh, so that's how you do your hindquarters. Make sure when you guys are doing the legs, for real, like, this is one of the problems that I have is that when there's, when you guys are cutting your elk and you're doing the hide, make sure you go around, around it and make it a nice professional cut and then come down and then peel it all off. It looks crazy when everybody chops and hacks at it. It really irritates me, so... Um, these are little tips that you should take in consideration when you guys are doing this stuff this year so make sure that you're always cutting the throat and then you peel back the rib cage and everything else like that but uh, if you guys want any other tips this is how you should be doing it